Good morning, everyone. After this beautiful welcome by destiny, all I'm going to say to you is good morning. Today is an exciting day as we culminate the activities for this 2021-2022 school year. The celebration of achievements, which was disrupted for some time, is well anticipated, not only by the teachers and students, but by also you, the parents. We have been unable to host our prize giving ceremony due to, the, due to the restrictions posed by the global pandemic. But today, we thank God for his mercy and kindness toward us as we resume with a level of normalcy. Being able to celebrate like this today is something that we should be grateful for. We indeed thank God for his mercy and continued blessings. While we celebrate achievements, and rightfully so, we do not want you or expect you to become consumed with the tangible rewards as there is more to celebrating achievements than material rewards. Sometimes we place so much emphasis on the tangible rewards that we miss the true meaning and substance of accomplishments. I welcome the Form 1 students. Let's give them a round of applause for being here this morning. They are attending their very first prize giving ceremony at the secondary level. Your presence here is worthy of mentioning, especially since your level is not being recognized, but you are present to cheer on those who will be recognized. For those who might have opted to be absent today because you do not believe that you have performed at the level that is being recognized at the ceremony, I say to you that celebrations like this are for everyone. One student's achievement may serve as the greatest motivator for another student. Additionally, we must teach our children to celebrate the success of others and be happy for their friends and classmates. In the absence of that support for each other, we are raising children who will grow up to be jealous of what others have instead of recognizing the hard work that others have sown and reaped. Henry David Thoreau, a poet and Harvard University graduate, purports, and I quote, what you get by achieving your goal is not as important as what or who you become by achieving your goals. I urge you parents to celebrate your child's accomplishments, but do not become consumed with comparing the accomplishments of your child with some other child. Every child is wonderfully created by God, is unique, and has his or her own talents, some still undiscovered. And as I get to talents, it would be remiss of me not to mention our two entries into the um, market, help market, the BVI for the Anigada Lobster Festival. They're celebrating 10 years. We had two entries, one from Gabriella Form 1 and the other one from Mary Torio. And guess what? One of our entries have won the competition. Let's give a round of applause to Mary Torio, who has won that drawing competition. To the exceptional St. George's Secondary School staff, I continue to extend my gratitude both in person and publicly. I recognize the hard work of Mrs. Gonzalez and the events committee, ensuring that this came to fruition. Thank you, thank you for your hard work. Congratulations to all those who will be recognized today. You have sown and now you reap. You have toiled and now you enjoy the fruits of your labor. Keep working hard and go the extra mile. It's never crowded there. Keep working hard and go the extra mile. It's never crowded there. Again, I say congratulations and thank you for coming to our 2022 St. George's Prize Giving Ceremony. Enjoy the rest of the ceremony. Thank you. 